Here you see, we are doing a 20 minute upper body workout. So I'm starting off with shoulders because they're one of my favorite things to work. Plus I feel like I need to work them way more than I have uh, done in the past. Same with triceps. Triceps are another lagging body part, I feel. So right here I'm doing a military press. I don't have a lot of equipment. This is in my garage. I don't have a lot of equipment, so it's pretty much anything I have is what you're seeing in this video. So that, if you hear that background noise, that's my son. Uh, he's two years old and he he's, he's two. So it is what it is if you hear him. Uh, right there I'm doing upright rows. For most of these exercises, I think I'm resting like three to five seconds between sets because I'm trying to do this in 20 minutes just to be in and out and done. Uh, so those are upright rows. Those are also for your shoulders. Oh, a little sweat right there. Let's see what am I doing? Uh, some shrugs. Another shoulder slash neck workout, however you want to determine it. I throw it in there with shoulder day. That's all. That's how I always uh, throw them, throw them in my workout. Anyway, so. Uh, what I was gonna say is I don't really have I don't have any plates or anything. So right there you just see me doing this with just the hex bar or the the trap bar, whatever you want to call it. There's various names for it. I don't have any plates, so I'm just doing it with the uh, bar itself. You'll notice on my back there's some markings. Uh, I just had cupping done. I think the day before, maybe two days. I have to look at it and see. I've had a lot of shoulder pain for years. Back in 2014, I went through a police academy. And just from doing, uh, like holding a gun up for shooting a pistol, it just destroyed, for some reason, it just destroyed my neck, shoulder area. So I've been tight ever since then. So cupping and acupuncture seem to help it a bit. Right here, you'll see me doing lateral raises, also for shoulders. You can tell I'm big on shoulders. Plus, with the minimal amount of equipment I can do, shoulders are one of the easier workouts for me to do. Right there, that's a drag curl for your biceps, or, or simulating a drag curl. Then I'm starting to switch up to more of a regular curl. Like I said, minimal equipment, so I'm using that hex bar for as many things as I can. Minimal rest. What's next? What is next? Ah, all right, some triceps. Overhead dumbbell extensions. Don't know what the weight is. Eh, it looks like it's either, it could be a 10. I believe I have a 10, 12. And then it jumps to 20. Uh, maybe got a drink of water right there. Don't know. So I switched it up. Decided to do some triceps with the hex bar. It's a bit wide. I like the neutral grip, but it is a bit wide, so it's not ideal. At the uh, gym, I use something entirely different. Right there, doing triceps again, so I can have a narrow grip. It's kind of tough up there to get your hands on it in that uh, in that form. So I switched uh, the positioning. There you go. And you see me change positions throughout the video a lot, just because I'm trying to. It's so bright, I can't really see the camera with the lights that I was using. So I'm trying to switch it up so you can actually see the arm that's getting worked. So like, to change the angle for you guys so you can eat, uh, see it much better. Right there, you can, there you go, you can see both biceps, but I switched it up, why not? Some single arm dumbbells, more single arm. I don't even know what's next. I filmed this like a month ago, and then I just haven't had a chance to edit it. Bought a nice new microphone, so I'm finally using it. Tricep kickbacks. So, like I said, triceps and shoulders are some of my favorite things to work because in the past, they've been some of the most stubborn parts to grow for me. And of course, calves. Not, not blessed with calves. I've brought them up over the years, but they're not the best. Let's see what else do we have here. It's pretty hard to do any kind of chest movements. So you're not really going to see much of that. So there, doing some reverse flies, bending over a bit to try to hit more of the rear delt. And a tiny bit of medial delt. Just changing the angle, as always. Putting those down. Ooh, a sip of water. There we go, I got water. Finally, oh, here my son. Uh, so there, I was trying to do some sort of chest and a little bit of triceps, but I figured, you know, that the camera's up on a stand I can't drop down and do push-ups so that was the best I could do at the time I'm trying to make do with what I had I don't have a cameraman or anything of that nature let's see what else ah, a little bit of flexing just to show you pumped up of course I sped this video up it's at 300 uh, percent when you're editing basically three times the normal speed doing some rows there some low rows for the lats stimulate those a bit it's kind of hard to feel them uh, it, with that right there. I, I, I only really feel lats when I do 
a certain machine nowadays. I did tons of years of bent over rows, heavy with barbells, and just never really felt it stimulate very well, but you know, I was young, didn't really know better. What else, what else? Changing up the grip. Uh, a few little hammer curls, apparently. Back to some triceps, because I got to try to keep them pumped up as much as possible. At this point, the video, I was starting to run out of uh, battery life on the camera. So the video will end very abruptly. I'm getting a little forearm work in there with what I have left. Changing angles again. Doing what I can. And I think this is the last thing I do. There we go. And coming to an end. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you check out the next one and all the videos I've made prior.